In this video, we're going to show you the importance of port connection rankings and how to view and change these rankings. Let's quickly create a model. Drag out two sources, a combiner, a queue, a separator, two conveyors, and a sync. For now, connect only the combiner, queue, and separator, and also the two conveyors to the sync. Double click on source 1 to open its properties window and select Palette from the Flow Item Class drop-down menu. Then click OK to save and close the window. The combiner requires that the object connected to its first input port provides the containers that any additional items are packed into. This is why we change the items produced by Source 1 to be pallets, so all of our items can be packed onto a pallet. Connect Source 1 to the combiner, and then connect Source 2 to the combiner. The same rule applies with the separator. By default, the items that other items are packed onto will exit through output port 1. So connect the separator first to conveyor 6 and then to conveyor 7. Because it was connected first, conveyor 6 will transport the pallets to the sink. If we run the model right now, boxes will be packed onto pallets, which come from input port 1. These packs are queued and then separated, with the pallets leaving through output port 1. So how do we know which port is which? The easiest way is to observe the red and green arrows that appear to the left and right of each object. Arrows that point towards the object represent input ports, where items are being introduced to the object. Arrows that point away from the object represent output ports, where items leave the object. The topmost arrow is the first port connection, so if you follow the black line from this arrow, it will lead you to the object that owns that connection. Additional arrows underneath this topmost arrow are the other connections in descending order, from the second to the third, and so on. So what if you want to change the connection order? You could delete and then remake the connections, but there is an easier way. Open the Properties window of the object that needs its connection ranking changed, and go to the General tab. At the bottom, you'll see a section called Ports, which will show you the connection order for input, central, and output ports. It'll give you the names of the objects connected, and you can simply click the Rank Adjustment buttons to increase or decrease the connection order of each object. Thank you for watching. For more information on Flexim products, or to view more tips and tricks for successful modeling, please visit www.flexim.com.